What's up, Orange Slices and the likes? Welcome back to Pokemon Flora Sky. I don't know why I said that. I, I kind of went back to the Orange Slices, but at the same time, I'm still not sure about it because apparently some people were offended when I called them that, and they're like, "Yo, I ain't no Orange Slice. I'm a, I'm a strong, independent black woman who don't need no man." And then I, I kind of felt that I shouldn't call you guys that, but. Judging by the fact that, uh, I don't know, I just, I like it. I like it like that, I guess. So anyway, here we are in Altering Cave, which apparently has nothing in it other than the fact that you just go right through it, and into Pulia City. We have finally made it here. Technology just blows me away. I mean, now you can play with people around the world wirelessly. Well, not in this game, but I guess technically if you're playing this game, then that means you got a computer, and that means you can actually play wirelessly and there goes the sound of the day you probably didn't hear it but there was a motorbike kind of you know spurring by or is that even a word spurring I don't know but anyway uh, what was I even saying oh yeah uh, orange slices that is a thing that I like to say sometimes but I don't know if people actually like it or not so I don't know anyway uh, let's just talk to these dudes because I'm super bored and apparently that guy knows it that guy knows that I'm bored and that's why I entered his house in the hopes that there might be something Good. Oh, look, um, this lady will give you the HM for fly if you give her the feather badge, or show it to her, rather, so, there we go, I guess it wasn't useless to go in this house, this is actually where we get fly. So, uh, let's explore the rest of the city real quick, and apparently there is a flying type gym here, so that is pretty good, uh, that means that all that training on Karen is about to pay off in the fact that she's probably gonna be sweeping this gym, so thanks for the lumberry lady, I'd love it when you give me that. I love it when you give me the salty look that you're gonna give me berries, cause, uh, cause berries are just cream. What? I mean, huh? I mean, Pulia Hotel seems like a nice place, let's go check it out. So anyway, uh, what was I even, what was I even going to say today? I don't even know, but there is a new video up on the crew, so if you would like to go and check it out, then do that. Also, this is Scott, the man that told us about the Festa Zone. So we're actually, we've been doing Hack Slash Mine, which is a Minecraft mod in the Technic pack, which also has Tekkit, which I do on this channel, If in case you didn't know, because uh, for some reason people, I don't know why, but people always ask me to upload Minecraft, and I guess they don't realize, or somehow don't realize, that Minecraft has actually been uploaded um, quite a few times, I'm up to episode 11 now, so if you somehow didn't know about this, which uh, is understandable, because apparently some other people have not figured it out, uh, there is a Munchcraft show, it's, it's, uh, it's Tekkit. And, uh, I do it with two other men of different countries. What am I supposed to tell you? I will let you know of a beautiful word that I have in mind. It is... It is... Butts. It's a pretty good word. So you keep that in mind. Let's... Butts! Butts! Oh no, she's, uh... I would have woken up. Hey, is that a Victini? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, I have no idea what I'm supposed to say to that dude, so maybe we'll figure it out as we go. But for now, uh, I'm just gonna leave him alone. We got ourselves a Lumberry, I think. Uh, I, well, we got that from another building, actually. There was another place we could have gone, but I'm dumb, so I didn't go there. Should probably go there, actually, just this way over here. You know what? I figured out that I super speed a lot to try and make things easier on me, but it ends up being worse. Are you a trainer by any chance? Yes, you are. How did I know that? I have no clue. Good thing I actually went over here because I wanted to fight some things with Dragon Breath. Oh god, that's not... That is not what I meant to do. Uh, I meant to not fall asleep here. Uh, what is Recycle? That is actually a move. I didn't even know that move existed. Well, that's not good. Can you please die? Oh god, this is not going too well. Ruffles, the silly pig. Oh no, you can't do anything. Uh, Thunder Punch, yeah! Can we kill you, maybe? Yes, okay. That took a while, Bob Marley. Actually, it was just made Marley, but I'm dumb, so. Hey, how are you guys doing? Do you know you can do this wirelessly? Like, a dude outside of this building told me so, so you, you can stop doing that. I mean, I mean, I know you're in the 21st century and all, but I don't, I don't even know. I guess that's the only thing we do here. Um, apparently this guy tells me that Infernapes like red Pokeblocks. Thanks for the info. Because I totally love doing Pokeblock stuff. I have actually never done Pokeblocks. That's a fun fact of the day. I love Pokemon, but I have never done Pokeblocks. It's like, uh, it's like drugs, you know? Like, dude, why do them? If you know what I mean. Because, uh, it's not like they make you feel... Well, actually, 
I can't, I can't vouch for that because I've never had drugs, but... Uh, judging by the people that have had them, it seems like they have a good time until they wound up in jail somehow. Or dead. Or dead, and I, I would not like to be dead, so I don't like drugs. And that's, uh... And that's your life quote for today. Last episode it was something along the lines of I don't know, and today it's, uh, yep, drugs are bad, so don't use them. Because they're bad for you. Anyway, uh, here's Watson. Oh, Mose, long time no see. Ha ha ha. You met April, my old friend. I wonder where he went to. Who? Is that a candy bar? Oh my gosh! It's chocolate! Chocolate! What am I doing? SpongeBob, good man. Next time I'm sure I will win. Ha ha ha. Thanks for bringing it to me. Please take this TM24. Because I am sure it's a well worthy trade for a candy bar. I don't know what it actually is, but apparently we can't talk to that other dude, so we're just gonna talk to this girl who sells more lemonades, but we've already got a lot of those, so... Yeah, maybe we can talk to this guy across this health potion? No? Okay, well... See you later then, guys. Uh, it was nice to meet you all. Uh, yeah, what is TM24 even? I don't know. Should I actually take a wild guess? I'm not certain. I'm gonna guess Thunderbolt. Am I gonna be right or terribly wrong? Whoa! Holy crap, I was right! Oh man, that is like the first time I get something right ever in Pokemon. And it was completely up to luck. So anyway, apparently there are Pokemon contests in here as well as the battle stuff. So as you all might know of my hatred for contests and also Poffins and Pokeblocks and things. I don't know. I just don't like them. Anyway, up here we got a girl. How is, how are you doing? You doing good, I see? All right, great. Where is the gym? Apparently there's a gym here, but I don't see it. So, I, I'm starting to not believe there's a gym here. I'm indeed starting to believe that there is no gym here, and the lady just told us to get her the feather badge, which isn't actually in this town. I'm gonna go heal up. Thankfully, that gym is not glitched up. I'm actually just gonna save just in case I run into some sort of glitch. I don't want to redo all of this. Whatever. You may have noticed I, I did use a save state there. So, yeah. Accuse me of cheating, I don't care. I... <laughs> Actually, I haven't used save states like to cheat in this game, I've realized. I did it a lot before, but ever since I figured out that I don't like cheating, uh, I have not used them anymore. And let's just pick up these berries quickly, quick, quicker. You see what I mean? Like, I try to use it to speed up parts that are sort of boring and I want to get rid of, but it ends up being slower. And there's a max elixir. How did I know that was going to be there? I don't know, maybe because it's sort of obvious, sort of. Anyway, uh, let's go up here, I guess. And I don't have a repel up. But that is okay with me, because all I want to do is marry you, baby. Stunky, Stunky the man. Dunky? Is that, is that what a, you're called? Dunky? Dunky Palunky? Yeah, you're dead. And now I fall asleep, because I'm an idiot, and I didn't uh, switch out there. Wow, are you really doing this to me, friend? Are you really gonna dragon breath? Um, let's switch out. This is pretty annoying. I don't know why. Strength power! Wow! Your, uh, your attack did quite a lot there. I would say it was super effective, but it wasn't. I, I keep trying to use Clap, but Clap just doesn't seem to be doing a lot recently. Look, he just got poisoned, which isn't good. Oh, man. Alright, there we go. You know what I'm starting to wonder is the, uh, the badge Winona gives out, the feather badge, because maybe the dude just forgot to script that. You know, and he kept it the feather badge when it's actually some other badge we're supposed to get. I'm really starting to wonder if that's what happened. I am going to use all these lemonades. Wow, they actually heal up for a lot more than I expected. I thought it was 60, but it's actually 80. So that is, that is a pretty good healing. And also antidote. I know I could just walk to the Pokemon Center, but I'm an idiot. So let's do that. And over here we got uh, the TV crew shooting uh, their new film, Twilight 7, The Dark Descent. Hey, look at here. I remember you. Let's get this on battle, yo! I got the camera ready. Let's let's get it on, dog. Uh, I actually just remembered some trivia that I read the other day. Um, the TV crew are actually named after yeah. I don't know if it was these two or the ones from another game, but they're named after something. I totally forgot what it was. No, I don't want an interview. I don't care about your interviews and your stupid TV shows. Go on with filming Twilight. Oh God. Hey Robert. How's it going good, man? Oh, oh really? Okay. Well, thanks for the call, man. Totally necessary there. I don't understand why they have that in the game. Like, 
they should call you to say that they want to rematch you. Well, actually, maybe that's what it is. They just say something random, but they actually want to rematch you, and they just don't directly tell you. I don't know. I'll have to check it out. And th that was totally a sprite that I've seen before. Um, it wasn't a cool trainer. I don't know what sprite that was, but I know that I've seen it before. So yeah, match call. Uh, we scroll down, and we find that, yes, a couple of trainers do want to battle us, and I believe they are the ones that have called us before. So let's just see if Robert... Robert isn't even in here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he doesn't want to battle us. So I guess it just happens completely randomly. But yeah, those uh, little things with the Pokeballs on the side, you can call them up, have a battle rematch thing. If you need some extra experience, this is a feature in um, Ruby Sapphire Emerald as well. So if you didn't know about it, then now you know. Because it's most super short show. And I'm just going to keep that as a staple now. And that was totally the dude from uh, Black and White. The man with the uh, dragon type gym. And there also might be children yelling in the background. But I can't do a lot about it because... They're just sort of there. I mean, the best I can do is close my window, which, uh, if you want to hear a fun fact, my window's already closed, so I can't really do anything about the kids yelling outside. Sorry. I guess. I don't know. So anyway, uh, this lady's gonna give us TM19, which, uh, let me guess, is it, like, Giga Drain or Mega Drain or something? I don't... Is it, like, Aroma something? Aroma Therapy or Bullet Seed or something that I don't know? I'm probably not gonna get to in a row, am I? Oh boy, look at that. First one that I said was Giga Drain. So, you know what? I'm going to give it to myself. I'm going to give myself a nice pat on the back. I hope you heard that. That was, a, that was me patting myself on the back there. Because I got two in a row. That is the best I have ever done in any Pokemon game ever. I may have said Mega Drain first, but I said Giga Drain at some point, And then I just said a bunch of stupid moves. So, you know what? I'm going to give myself that one. I don't care if you guys don't think I got it. I am going to give it to myself because I feel like a d guy with Padsy. Also, uh, now that I notice, Giga Drain is actually very good on Padsy, and finally we can get rid of the stupid Absorb. I don't want to deal with uh, confusion, so I'm just going to switch out and close combat, and you're dead. See you later, Luxray Man. That's a weird sprite still. It looks like Vince, or I didn't even look this up, but it was something from uh, ShamWow. And there's a lot of Luxrays here. So, uh, maybe there's some other electric type Pokemon to be found around, I don't know. You spoke to me, so you want a challenge? Sure, I'll try out the Pokemon I caught while surfing. Alright, Mr. Surfer Man. Oh, this is a great Pokemon. Oh, okay, maybe this one. No, maybe not. Uh, shit. Well, that's, uh, this could be a problem or not, because I've got Thunder Punch. Ooh, Crush Claw. Uh, that seems like a pretty good move. I know Air Cutter is not really the best move. I am gonna get rid of Scary Face because I don't ever use it. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. I, I still have Thunder Wave, so whatever. Actually, I don't know if I have Thunder Wave still. I'm dumb. Let's check it out. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, so we're good. We're good. We don't need to lower anyone's speed. We can just T-Wave them, and then their the speed is halved, so that is pretty great. Anyway, let's do some surfing around and see what sorts of polywags are around and also polygons and and all sorts of other shapes and sizes. Oh my god, it's a waterfall that we can't go up because we don't have waterfall yet. So instead, we're going to explore more of this place, I guess. Because there's not really a lot else we can do. I don't even know where I am, now that I think about it. Um, am I, like, headed to the next town or something? I don't know. I'm going to air cutter this thing and grab myself a star piece. Yes, a star piece much like those from Paper Mario and the Thousand Years of Pain, which I have been playing. I beat Banjo-Kazooie. I mentioned this in Super Mario Sunshine that I was playing through Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, so I beat that the other day, and it was a pretty great game. Thank you, Graham Grumps, Graham Groups, for uh, showing me this game. Actually, they didn't show it to me. Dylan did. I mention Dylan in every video now because he's my secret lover, and I hope that you guys will understand this. He is uh, hes a beautiful chocolate man. Totally. Totally. So anyway, uh, disregarding Totally Spies, we are actually going to run into a Scraggy, which is an awesome Pokemon as well. And I should probably go back, because I don't... Why am I not spraying any repels? I just realized this. I have no clue. Is this actually a different route from the previous one with all the Relux rays on it? I'm not sure it might be, because I sort of did see that it transitioned into a new route. But I didn't pay enough attention to know that that kid was actually a tree in disguise. Yes, the tree was disguised as a kid, not the other way around. That is what I meant to say. Don't judge me, please. I'll be very sad if you judge me. Oh god, that was not good. 
All right, Padsy, looks like it's your time to shine as we take out an Electrovire. Or Electrike. That's his name? Oh, no. Minchino Man. Or actually, Chinchino. I didn't even know you could catch Minchino in this game. Minchino's a pretty good Pokemon. Also, we registered a guitarist in our Pokenav. So, now, if you need some help, if you got a gig that you want to have a dude rock out on, you can call up Fernando. He does uh, birthday parties. I hear he... He does it for a pretty cheap price, and it's way better than calling in Spider-Man cosplayers, because cause we all know how bad those are. They get drunk in the party, and then they try to do backflips off the roof, and it never ends nicely, so I wouldn't recommend taking that course of action. Anyway, uh, I guess that's it for this route. We did get to the next town, but I guess there's an item down here that I totally skipped over for no reason at all, and that is a nugget. So, uh, we're getting pretty close to the end of this episode. I can't believe it's not butter, it's a skitty. It's actually a skitty. It's not... It was pretty obvious it wasn't butter, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, so anyway, that is gonna be it for today. Next episode, we're gonna be exploring Hostatista City. Um, if that's... I think that's what it's called. Is it Hotestia? Let's just find out. Hot Hotestia City. See you guys then.